let's train your inbox. I'm going to show you how I got all of these emails that are automatic from a typing test results flippity.net thing that I'm doing with my classes all in a folder automatically. I didn't have to move these once I figured out filters. They automatically went into this folder that I created. It was kind of amazing for me because this was a lot of emails over the course of just a couple of days. You're going to train your inbox to use this label that you make. So you'll have to be back in your Gmail. You have to pick what it is you want it to train. So let's say I take all of these things that I'm getting from this that I subscribe to that I want. There's some cool word games. They've got some nice headlines. They've got ideas that I need for journalism. Um, the last five minutes of class filler kind of stuff. And I want them to all go in the same place. I'm going to select them. And I'm going to look at my options up here. I could archive them all, which means they'll go into the archive and I'll have to go find them. Not what I want. I could report them as spam, which is not true, but might be helpful for other email that you get. If it was unsolicited and it's not getting into your spam folder. I could trash them all. I don't want to trash them all. I can mark them as red, but most of them are already red. That's not going to help me. And I can snooze them, say, I don't want to see these for so many days, and then they'll pop back up. I can add them to my tasks, which will go over here into my tasks, which is another place that you can keep track of meetings and assignments and things that you have to do, which might be useful for some of the information that you get, but not what I'm looking for. Or I can get over here to where I'm going to move them to, and I can manage my labels or simply just create a new label. This is what I want. I'm going to go to Create New, and I'm going to call it NYT. This is New York Times stuff. And I can tell it where to nest that label. I'm going to put it under 2020, fall 2020, next to flippity typing tests and notifications from classroom when I post things. And then I'm going to create it. And they all moved over there. Here it is. And tomorrow when I get one, it's automatically going to go in this folder. And when I want that information, when I have time to check this, like at lunch maybe or beginning of the day or planning period or whatever, I can go looking for it and there it is. Okay, I didn't have to move those. They just magically are gonna move themselves. Could be a really handy place to put everything you get from Google Classroom if you're still subscribed. It could be information from certain colleges that you want to be sure gets over here. And when you have time and you remember you can go over here and look at everything I get from flippity typing tests. And I can see all of them by date. I can look at who did which one. I can find this information and check it off. I don't have to worry about moving 20 emails every class period into this folder. I can train it to automatically do that. And remember, I did that up here with filters. To create that filter, you've got to select it. You go down here to create it. You'll nest it or not, and whatever it is that you click will automatically go into that folder based on the filter that you've selected. Kind of cool? I hope. It was a life, it was a game changer for me. I hope you see some ways that that could work for you. Don't forget to go looking over here for that information. Don't train it just to automatically delete everything that you get because you're going to get some information that you want to be able to find again. Don't just trash everything you have. Hope that helps. Enjoy creating labels that will keep you more organized.